this episode of Dapper Daniel. Big boy boost. That is smooth, y'all. What do they call those? Ho downs? Oh, no, 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 not me, not me. My bad. They know I'm here, abort mission. And hold your horses for this one. $5,700 per month. Man's on a bird. Up here is the monorail. Now the Disney monorail runs right through here. Realtor by day, photo boother by day and night. Uh, so that makes sense. Welcome to Las Colinas. Thanks. Uh, we gotta find Toyota Music Factory. Hello everyone, starting the video a little different today. I'm doing a photo booth over here at, hold on, Toyota Music Factory today. So I'm gonna be going setting up the 360 booth, doing that. I have uh, Max coming to work it later on. I'm gonna be taking you guys around all around here and then driving around, showing you guys some of the residential, some of the apartments, giving you guys a driving tour, but we're gonna go set up the 360 booth right now. All right, this is the setup for today. Red carpet. Oh, got the dolly. Big boy booth. Oh it's like a booth. Uh, and then we get the arm. Hold on. We got the arm. So, all right, headed into Toyota Music Factory. I have never been inside Toyota Music Factory, so this is going to be a new experience for you, me, and Victoria. Uh, is that? That might fall. Okay. Let's go. All right, let's go figure out where we need to set up. Man, I do. Yeah, you're right. I, I need a haircut. It's a bad. I don't know if that's the main entrance or maybe it's up here. I have no idea. Where the music, maybe that's it, I don't know. All right, we were going the wrong way. This is the lounge. The other one's a little bit further up there, so we'll be there in a sec. Okay, we have found the front entrance. Let's go set up now. And then uh, I'll take you guys around a drive and check out all the uh, residential stuff and uh, I don't know, yeah, we'll just, there's so much stuff to do. We might go walk around too. So tonight is a church event for Foy Ministries. We got some stuff set up here. We'll uh, take a leap. I've seen that trending on TikTok, that type of stuff. I've seen some, have you seen videos of the, that stuff on TikTok? You've never seen the bounce house stuff? Yeah, I've seen some of that. People getting into 360 photo booths and bounce houses because of TikTok. We're setting up back over here. Crickets are chirping, they're pretty excited for the night. <laughs> Bar area, not tonight though, it's a church event. <laughs> not tonight. All right, we found our spot. Nice little light backdrop. Gotta make sure we get a picture of the setup. All right, the booth is all set up. So for this event, they went with our most basic package. This is actually our four to six person booth. They rented the one to two person booth, but I always like kind of upgrading people to the bigger package, even though when they pay for less, if I have it available. Because remember guys, it is all about the customer experience. All right, let's check out more of Toyota Music Factory. So they got more seats that go up there, but this is the look of the event. So I just had someone from the event walk up and they're like, are you okay with lighting? Because usually with my setup, um, I am not one to set up a bunch of lights around the exterior because this is a 360 photo booth. So it kind of creates this backlighting. What I have done is created uh, basically with some zip ties and just some clamps here, I have strapped on a huge bright square light that takes a wireless battery. Then you just give it one of these and like, <laughs> that's like way too bright so we're good on lighting we're just gonna go for a little walk around the pavilion check out some more spots maybe grab a quick drink or something like that i think victoria wanted a coffee all right we had to move the cars over to the vendor parking for right now but gonna walk the little area over here show you guys some of the restaurants that you can't get to by car because they well i guess you can get it by car get to it by car but they have the uh barriers up so they have uh, the reservoir. Check out this map. Okay, so Freshy, Grimaldi's, Blaze. What else do they have? I don't see a Starbucks. <laughs> Does that make you sad? Yeah, I'm very sad. Well, check out this area. This kind of reminds me of uh, Legacy Food Hall. some bars, cornhole. And then they maybe they do like live music out here. That's the Alamo Drafthouse Cinema, which is like an upper scale type of cinema where you can get 
you know, draft beers and more luxury. But I mean, I still got to stick with my cut Cinemark. That's still the number one. And then they also have a Gloria's attached to it. That's some Mexican fine dining. It's a little hot, yeah. Mama tried. I'm gonna guess that's like a, what do they call those? Hoedowns? But here is the main entrance to the Toyota Music Factory, so gig's about to start here. We're just kind of walking around doing nothing. I really wish they would have gave me the pink memo. I wore, uh, I wore red. Okay, so at the beginning of this video, I said that we were doing this for Foy Ministries. It kind of is Foy Ministries, but this is the Icing Woman's event by Terry. I guess she's a really well-known person with church stuff. So this is gonna get pretty motivational. Oh, look at that. They got a 360 photo booth on the ceiling. It's starting to fill in. I already shot one of the first. Let's check it out. Let me show you guys. This mom and daughter came in. Check that out. That is smooth, y'all. All right, back in the car now. The event's going great. I have left Max there to finish it up. It's like a six hour event. These, uh, these, church, these church events really uh, throw down, but I'll throw up some videos right now from the event. Uh, what? Hold on, I feel naked right now, guys. Okay, that's better. I'll throw up some videos of the event, uh, some videos that we shot of the 360 photo booths. People were loving it, but hopping in the car now, I'm gonna take you all around this development, show you guys uh, some of the neighborhoods, hopefully some of the neighborhoods I can get into, they're gated. Now that's the lakes of Las Colinas. I'm gonna try to get in there and sneak my way in. Uh, if not, I'm gonna be taking you around to some townhomes, the Verona on Lake Carolyn, then there's Las Colinas Station, and also take you by some of the apartments too. They got plenty of townhomes around here, but this really is an awesome place for anyone that's wanting to be close to the airport and also be around like a really good entertainment district. This place is awesome. I'll take you around to where most of the restaurants are. And then afterwards, oh, did I go too low? Is this out? I'm trying to figure out how to get out. Okay, perfect. I had to park on like the fourth level. There were so many people in here. It's always popping around Toyota Music Factory. All right. Let's go out this way. Sweet. All right, so here's the main area. This is what I walked earlier around here showing you guys. Let me just keep driving around but these are the restaurants in here plenty of restaurants there's a thirsty lion after this we'll head over to the first neighborhood go over there but this area is like 15 minutes 20 minutes into dallas 10 minutes away from the dfw airports or all these places that i kind of go around and just keep that in mind you're really in a good little central location uh, you're closer into dallas and then there's also the dart train close as well but not many people are taking the dart train so uh I throw that out there, but no one's really doing that. Okay, let's go down this way. Show you guys these shops. So here along this side, they have uh, some more restaurants, the Blue Fish, Gloria's, there's that draft house. And then they have this section here. Let me go down this way. Grimaldi's. All right, we'll hook the U-turn. And then, uh, so it's kind of split on two sides because of Lake Carolyn, uh, which is really cool. So if you have, if you do get an apartment here, if you do get a townhouse, there's some awesome walking areas around here to go around the lake. They really have just centered this whole thing around the lake here. There's also a Blaze Brazilian Steakhouse. They do plenty of events. They have like a whole calendar for, uh, you know, over here. They have like an outdoor area where they do some live music. But now I'm gonna head headed over to the lakes of Las Colinas. This is and this is all within Dallas County. This neighborhood in here is gonna be $3,200 annually in HOA fees, so pretty hefty. And these are gonna be Darling Collection, Terrell Morrison. So the previous video I made uh, over there in Allen, this is gonna be the same type of homes, just a lot older, 2009, 2013 homes within here. The school districts are gonna be split on this other side of Northwest Highway is gonna be for a school district of Carrollton Farmers Branch. Elementary school is gonna be for River Chase Elementary, Bush Middle School, and then Ranch View High School. We'll see if we'll be able to sneak our way, but you can kind of see over to the right. So the neighborhood's built around this side. Uh, uh, the neighborhood's built around the lake there. 
oh, the gate's open. Oh, the gate's open, guys. Oh, the gate's open. Oh, 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 no. We missed it. We missed it. That was our chance. That was our chance right there. We missed it, guys. Oh, man, we missed it. We missed it, guys. Oh, man, we had it. We had it, and then we missed it. It was there. It was open for us. Maybe, hold on, maybe if I just sit here, because this really is an awesome neighborhood, guys. I'm trying to pull in, pull in. You won't, you won't. Oh, the Camry did. The Camry definitely did. Okay, this is interesting, guys. Here we go. Sneak attack. Resident entrance only. Oh, no, 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 not me, not me. My bad, my bad, my bad. My bad, I'm going the wrong way. This is resident only. They know I'm here. Abort mission. They know I'm here, abort mission. They're watching me. All right, I'm out. All right, let's just talk about the uh, houses that have sold in there. <laughs> that didn't happen to me the first time. Dang it, we were so close. Anyways, let me throw up some pictures over some of the houses that have sold, and then I'll get into uh, other tunnels. Man, that is a bummer, guys, I tried. So that's the entrance over there. That's the main entrance. Uh, as you can see, some of these houses on this back side, maybe you can kind of get a feel for it. But man, I was this close. I was this close. That is a bummer. Now we're headed over to the townhomes and apartment area. So this side is going to be like the mo most northern side. These next uh, neighborhoods in this next area that I'm going to be going into, these neighborhoods are zoned for Irving. And that's going to be Farron Elementary, Travis Middle School, and MacArthur high school now we're actually into the Las Cleanest urban center we kind of went away around that neighborhood like I said I try to try to be sneaky but it didn't work out for me I knew I was there they were ready for me all right next let's see okay so in front of us right now is the uh, townhomes at Las Colinas station let me go through here show you guys that they're gonna be right next to apartment complexes I mean everything in here is almost an apartment complex and then they just have a couple neighborhoods that are actual townhomes in here for this neighborhood they had a 2019 closed on the 8th of July it was listed at six hundred and seventy five thousand dollars and sold at six hundred and forty thousand dollars it was a three bed four bath two thousand four hundred and three square feet at 266 per square foot Oh, I can't enter there. Okay, well, where do I enter? Where do I enter? Because I can't enter there. Okay, I'll have to do a UE. That's what we'll do. All right, and then we're passing over the Dart Train Railway. So that the Dart Train does go th right through here. So if you want to take that down into Dallas, I'll talk about the lease in a second. Let me get back going the right way. All right, so the townhomes are on this left side. They have the Dart Train, as you can see, going through here, but let me just talk about that lease real quick. So they did have a lease going as a 2021 build and hold your horses for this one, $5,700 per month, three bed, four bath, 2,026 square feet. And then for their new construction, see, I'm not even gonna be able to get to the other side now. Uh, and for their new construction, they do have quick move-ins that are getting built in 2023. For example, they had a three bed, three and a half bath, 2,022 square feet, at, starting at $650,000. In this area, they have lakeside. So for example, I just pulled out one of the uh, apartments, uh, for instance, but gonna be pretty expensive apartments in here. And then here's their walking area in here. You can walk the whole lake. Check that out, let me turn back out. But I mean, they're gonna have, I, on the low end, I saw a one bed, one bath, starting at like 1650 for like 700 square feet. I will say, the one thing is a little annoying with this train going down the middle of it and not being able to get to the other side until you kind of get to the next light. All right, on this left side is Verona at Lake Carolyn. I'll get into this neighborhood. Yeah, I would say that's pretty annoying with the uh, dart train running right through here. I mean, people might be like, it might be a selling point for the people around here that are building the houses and things like that in the apartments, but it, it's just annoying having to drive it. 
All right, I got the green arrow. You have to go like a little bit further to get back around to where you want to turn, which is uh, annoying. All right, so in here, they have the Verona, the HOA. The HOA for both of those neighborhoods, about 150 monthly, so a lot different than that other neighborhood that was $3,200 annually. Uh, but yeah, that's 150 monthly in here. And there is a current town home in here that is active. That one is currently going for $617,000. That's a three bed, four bath, 2,356 square feet, 275 per square foot. And that's the whole neighborhood. So they're not doing any new construction in this one. It's just gonna be all pre-owned, but giving you guys an idea for what that is. There's no, uh, this is your guest parking. That's pretty sad. So they didn't really put a whole emphasis on the uh, parking and everything, but I can kind of understand because I talked about this in my last video. You put a bunch of parking places by residential and townhomes and then you have apartments. Well, the apartment people are gonna really just abuse all that, so. All right, so more apartments on the right and left side. Let me get into that new construction where they're building the most recent townhomes. But the townhomes in this area are gonna be starting around like six hundred and forty thousand uh, dollars they do have some balconies things like that to overlook now you're not going to be able to get the water which is kind of annoying i don't know why they didn't do any townhomes right along the water they just kind of kept it to apartments into the new construction area so they got some of the houses up on this left looks like at the second level is where they're doing like the balcony So kind of like the Wade Settlement townhomes I just toured through last video. And these are gonna be ready end of year. And it looks like they still have a couple lots that they haven't even started on really. Let's just go around the edge, show you guys what's kind of on the outskirts. Uh, mostly just gonna be tree lines and highways. So this area over here, you got big park area they got some walking trails done in that this area is a 12,000 acre development they're still bringing things in here's the dart train for you guys take a picture okay so that's I mean it does honk its horn so you're probably gonna hear that but it's not gonna sound like a full blown steam engine coming through all right here's more views over the lake on this right side hopefully the camera can pick up a little bit but they have like these walking paths all along here got some bikers out today now we're headed back into where toyota music factory is those things like that so on the opposite side of toyota music factory is where you're going to get most of the apartments most of the townhomes and then in this area, you are gonna have some condos available for purchase and uh, and then some apartments in here like this. Let's, I'm gonna go down in corners. All right, let's go down this. Now O'Connor is another area in here, or this street is another area where there's some more uh, shopping and things like that. I believe shopping and restaurants. There's not that much shopping over at where the Toyota Music Factory is, more just entertainment. Like that's their entertainment district side. You're gonna have like comedy shows there too and uh, outdoor concerts. And then this is where I'm gonna finish up the video within this area. So what do they got? Yeah, I think they have that more shopping. GQ Taylor nails. Can I turn into here? I can't. Man's on a bird. I mean, I, w I won't hit you guys. I mean, I would have let you. I mean, walk in the street. I mean, that's what it's for, right? All right, so more of a hangout area in here. Got some more parking garages. And, uh, and then you can walk around the lake area. Man's looking at his phone, wants to get hit by a car. And then uh, as you can see, up here is the monorail. Now the Disney monorail runs right through here. And then so, yeah, just apartments everywhere. I mean, I can only imagine parking as a nightmare. <laughs> uh, 
late nights. That's gonna do it for the Las Colinas Urban Center in some of the areas. Sorry guys, I wasn't able to get in that neighborhood. They, they blocked me out. I tried my best. I'm just gonna do it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the uh, little photo bomb stuff. I'll be adding more things with the photo bomb in the videos. What I want to do is I do some events at some really cool places and around these places are like really cool things like this. So I think it, it'd be nice to show you guys, okay, what's around this area? What's one of like the event venues or event centers, things like that and actually show you the inside and maybe show you show you know me working an event or one of my uh, employees doing something. So other than that, I mean, yeah, realtor by day, photo booth or by day day and night. Thanks for watching guys. Peace out y'all and take it easy as always. Thanks for checking out my channel and watching that video. I got more videos floating around here. If you're in the market to buy or sell real estate in the DFW area, contact me, Daniel, at the Home Expert team. I will be happy to answer any of your questions. Uh, besides that, uh, bye.